everyone, it's Mike back with Bro in the Glass. Today I'm in San Antonio doing my first out and about in quite a while. I'm at the Growler Exchange in San Antonio, Texas. This is number 36 on tap. They have 38 taps here. This is Sputnik. It's out of Austin. This is by Stone, and this is, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly, Zocoveza. Hope it is. Anyhow, it's an imperial or double milk stout. Very smooth, interesting taste to it. Not much of a nose to speak of, but it's not quite as, as sweet as I expected it to be for a lactose or a milk stout. Okay, so like I said, not quite as sweet as I thought it would be. More of like a, almost like a, the Westbrook's Mexican cake, but not quite. It's got some chocolate to it. Maybe a little bit of nutmeg. And there's some spice to it as well. You're getting a little bit of vanilla, maybe some cinnamon, but some sort of a chili or a pepper. There's definitely a little bit of a kick to it. It's kind of like a like a Mexican hot chocolate. And again, I don't know if it's Zoco Vesa or Yoko Vesa whatever, but it's not bad. It's not quite as good as the first one, but it's not bad. It's also got a bit of a strong aftertaste to it. All right, still a little bit perplexed. I was expecting more the sweet, smooth lactose from a milk stout. This has a little bit more of the chocolate, a little bit of heat, some spice to it. It's not bad. It's not just not exactly what I was expecting. And I like stone products. Yeah, it's definitely not bad. I'm going to go with a 3.5 on this. I think it's good. Not great. It's not something I'm going to be looking for. Not like that first one. This time up, we're going with number 38. We're going 36, 37, 38 on today's tap menu. This is out of San Diego, Ale Smith. It is called Speedway Stout. It is a double or imperial coffee stout. And it's bourbon barrel aged. Let's see how this is. Oh, oh I'm getting that bourbon. I'm already excited. Strong 
boozy nose and flavor. Roasty, very smooth mouthfeel, like I said.